The iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are a big deal literally because they have larger displays at 6.3 inches and a whooping 6.9 inches. The latter is the largest display ever on an iPhone. But they are also a pretty big deal because of all the other upgrades Apple is packing into this year's Pro models. Both the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max get a new A18 Pro chip that's designed from the ground up for Apple intelligence features and a new dedicated camera control button that's designed to make everything from zooming to changing focus depth easier. A new 48 megapixel ultra wide camera captures impressive macro shots and you can record cinematic slow motion video at 4K 120 FPS. Apple also promises longer battery life and better sustained performance along with more durable designs. I went hands on with both the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max and I came away impressed with the new designs and features. Both could make our best phone list but the camera control was a bit finicky. The most unique design feature of the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max is the camera control, a dedicated button that's recessed in the design on the right side of the phone. Don't worry, there is still an action button on the left if you want to customize shortcuts. The haptic camera control lets you launch the camera with a hard press and you can just start snapping photos with another press. From there, I could long press to start recording video. But things get really interesting when you swipe your finger along the edge of the bottom. You can swipe left and right to zoom in and out on your photos. And with a double soft press, you can toggle between various settings like depth, exposure and styles. It works, but I found the button a bit finicky and I had to swipe more than I like to go from one option to the next. Still, I could see myself using the camera control all the time to quick launch into the camera so I never miss a shot. The A18 Pro chip inside the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max series promises a major speed boost which makes sense because Apple wants these phones to be fully optimized for Apple intelligence. The CPU promises to be 15% faster while using 20% less power and there is a fast neural engine for machine learning tasks. So what can you do with this extra oomph? I summarized a long notes in the notes apps in just a few seconds and you can do things like create images in image playground and quickly summarize a long email thread. A new Siri is also on the way to handle all sorts of tasks and have more natural conversations but that's coming in October in English fast. Gamers will like the A18 Pro's beefed up 6 core GPU which promises better visuals. While playing Honor King's World I appreciate the console-like visuals, including a stunning sunset and smooth animations. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max both look like solid upgrades, but the iPhone 16 Pro could be the better value. You get the same 5x telephoto zoom as the larger Pro Max in a smaller design and the screen is big enough where you might not have Max and Buy. I personally prefer a larger screen and the longest battery life so I would probably go for the iPhone 16 Pro Max but if you are on a tighter budget go regular pro stay tuned for our full rated review.